I can never tell on this camera if I'm in focus. What's going on you guys? Welcome back for another video. It's almost 9 a.m. on Wednesday morning. Hope you guys are having a great week. Today's video is gonna be vlog style. I have a lot to like chit chat and update you guys about, but we're gonna start off the video with a workout. I've been liking to get it done so much more earlier lately um, since I have to wake up so much earlier now because my son has the morning preschool session. Last year he actually had the afternoon and we just kind of took advantage of that and always slept in. But I've been feeling so much more productive in the mornings when I get up, get my workout done, um, get groceries, like get my car washed, whatever I have to do. Today I have a ton of giveaway products I have to ship out after the gym. Um, and I have to pick up like a few things at Walgreens, nothing too crazy, but today's workout is gonna be a full lower body. Uh, my upper body is super sore. I have been working out shoulders and back like crazy lately, and even just holding up this camera is a little difficult. Um, but I'm super excited to get this workout done. If you follow me on Snapchat or Insta Story, you know I am so on a mission right now to get my body back to the best shape it's ever been in, and I'm in such a determined and motivated phase right now, which feels so good, and I'm just gonna ride it out as long as possible. I've been listening to so many motivational speeches and watching tons of my favorite fitness YouTubers and really just wanting to treat my body the healthiest and the best possible by loving it and putting in the right type of food and working out and I've just been feeling honestly incredible. So I'm super excited to hit some booty, some legs. I'm coming to the gym real early where there shouldn't be too, well kind of early, shouldn't be too many people in there and this gym usually they're cool if I film. So I am gonna film the entire workout for you guys. I'm just gonna take a little bit, oh. We're real close up here. I'm gonna take a little bit of pre-workout, but I do have new people ask all the time. I take the Megawatt V2 by First Form. I just went to the grocery store and got some water. Also, I would like to say, this backpack, I mentioned before, and I gave one away in my First Form giveaway. This is the best backpack ever. Yesterday I got groceries with my son, and I filled it up to the top, so I wouldn't have to buy any of those like reusable bags at the grocery store, and it was extremely heavy, but when it was on my back, I don't know, like the way it's made, the way that they kind of have the weight being held, once it was on my back, I didn't feel like I was carrying anything at all, and it was filled to the brim with groceries. So the way that it like distributes the weight is incredible. It's insulated, you could put like your laptop in there, tons of pockets, it does clip in the front, and I believe you can get this nameplate, um, like plated with your actual name, but the straps are super durable. I don't know, I really like it. I got it from Summer Smash, um, the Summer Smash event with First Form, but I'll link it in the description box if you can buy it just by itself on their site right now. And I always have my pre-workout and the fat burner that I'm currently taking in the description as well. All right, you guys, so let's get started on the workout. It was a full lower body and booty workout. So personally, what I like to do at the beginning is really activate the muscles we're gonna be working that day. So they're fired up, my heart rate's up, and I'm just ready to go. So I was starting off with some hip thrusts here on this little uh, box jump with no additional weight, just all body weight, really focusing on squeezing at the very top every time my butt came up. And on the very last rep, I held for about 20 seconds. I'm gonna show you guys in this workout what I do to kind of target the under butt and really lift your butt and kind of eliminate um, cellulite. I do wanna mention I'm very well aware that getting rid of cellulite means you must drop your body fat percentage. I've known people who've lost maybe 40, 50 pounds and they had a ton of cellulite and most of it diminished when they got really healthy. Um, so for me personally, as you can see when I squeeze my butt here at the top of these squats, I definitely do have cellulite. I'm trying, a lot of people in my family have it, I'm just trying to, as I lean down, also eliminate that, so I thought this would be helpful for you guys. I was just doing some regular squats and sumo squats there to warm up, about two sets, then I did some jumping jacks. Main exercise I really wanted to do today was these hip thrusts, so I'm using the 45 pound squat bar with another 10 pound on each side. I'm focusing on going all the way down, keeping my back pretty uh, straight and just like really focusing on squeezing the glutes super hard every time I come up. Let me tell you, these are super tough. So many props to all the girls I see on Instagram doing hip thrusts with like 200 pounds and stuff. It's insane. Usually I'll just use like a 30 to 40 pound straight barbell, but I wanted to push myself, <laughs> you can see here on my rest, I was like dying. I wanted to push myself to do a little bit of a higher weight, so I took the squat rack bar with those two other 10s. This is a total of 65 pounds, which is still like not super heavy, but you guys, my glutes were killing, and the next day I was totally feeling it. So definitely give this a try. It's a really, really good lower body and booty workout, and it really, really will burn. So I did three sets of 12 on that. Then I went ahead and moved on to some regular kickbacks here, which you guys have seen me do a million times. 
I feel like this really helps to lift up the butt muscles and just kind of make your butt look a little bit lifted in general. Um, I've also done these weighted, which I've seen a really big difference in my butt. You know, I still don't have like a model booty or anything, but I'm getting there from how flat my butt used to be. I've definitely seen a change. So here I'm just doing a little hit circuit. I was doing some squat jumps, two sets of this, and then we're back to the jumping jacks. Just trying to get my heart rate up and really, really get sweaty. Um, so yeah, at this point I remember I was like dying. Then I moved on to some side to side jumps on this little bench here. And I only showed you guys a set or two of everything, but I did three sets of each exercise. All right, so before I pick up Christian, I wanted to just grab a coffee in Starbucks real quick and, you know, possibly go through the clothes section, see what they got. It's like heaven in here. Obviously, I gravitate to the makeup section first. Who has tried these brushes? We all know that I'm obsessed with e.l.f. I feel like I've tried like hundreds of their products, but and I'm actually like on their PR list and I don't think I've received these yet, but I heard they're actually incredible. They seem pretty soft. Also, just for reference, I'm constantly getting questions on my favorite drugstore foundation. Hands down, Milani 2-in-1. Super, super full coverage, like wedding coverage. The downside is they only have like eight shades, but it's incredible and it's pretty affordable. You know what I really need? Real clothes down there. You know what I'm gonna look at? More active wear. Don't judge. Super random, but has anyone seen these? Just found these, and they're supposed to be like organic, fragrance-free. They're actually cheaper than the regular like Playtex ones I get, so we're gonna try these out. All right, so I didn't find anything too great at Target. Just got a green tea lemonade, unsweetened with uh, four Splenda, and heading to pick up a little man from school. Let's put on some music. Oh, I just got the new Fifth Harmony CD. Let's see how this is. Let's check it out. Hey, what's up, girls? Like so. Sauced up. I feel like these girls are still like 16. Fifth Harmony getting so wet up in here. Be appropriate. Hi, baby. How was school today? You don't fit in there. This is your little one for babies. Okay, ready? Did you miss me? How, hey, look at me. How was school? Good. Good. We're, I think we gotta go to the doctor. We gotta go get physical. I got me. Like a... Yeah, you do. <laughs> hey, guess what? I got you blueberry muffin in the car. What? I got you a muffin in the car. Did you want to take this home? Yeah. What is it? Oh. You drew that? Here, I'll take it. Okay. Thank you so much. You got Aww. it. Aww. Did you draw this for me today? Yeah. What is it? Tell me what shape is it? Heart. What color? <laughs> what color? <laughs> okay, okay. It's blue, baby. You ready? Yeah, don't tickle me. I'm not gonna tickle you. I'm gonna push you. Are you ready? Yep. Okay. <laughs> Good no! job. No! <laughs> <laughs> You're so cute. <laughs> well, we're heading to get Christian's physical. I don't think he needs any shots, but he just needs an updated physical for school, which is due next week. So we don't have too much to do this afternoon. We might as well go get it done. Also, also a bunch of you are asking what car I had this week because our car got hit a few weeks ago and it's getting fixed. So they gave me the Nissan Rogue here at the, um, what's it called, rent-a-car place. And I've, I actually really do like it, no joke. It's not a very expensive car at all. I was looking it up. It's only like 25 to 28 grand full price. Um, hop in, baby. 
I got you a little treat from Starbucks. You hungry? Yep. So it's now like 1.30 p.m. Um, back home, I had to take Christian to actually get a physical on the way home after I picked him up from school, and he had to get a screening for... Um, what is it HPV and a few other things he's already had all of his shots done from last year which were still um, like within the time frame he didn't need any shots redone which is so cool because he screams and I always feel so bad when he has to get shots he it's like the worst thing ever so got that done really quick we went and played at the park a little bit now we're home he's napping a lot of you still continually ask and I still keep him on his nap schedule even though he's getting so much older I feel like he needs that quiet time he needs that downtime and I need to work and, you know, have a little break as well sometimes. I usually, like, edit videos, emails, stuff like that. So from, like, 2 to 4, he naps pretty consistently, which is pretty awesome. So I am hungry. I'm going to make some lunch. Wanted to show you guys what I'm having. For lunch, actually, I'm going to be making some veggie burgers from Gardein. A lot of you ask my favorite brand for, like, plant-based and vegan burgers and also, like, chicken nuggets, um, which are still processed, yes, and are not, like, the absolute healthiest. But if you're on the go or whatever... You know, they have these at pretty much any grocery store. I'm going to have a few pickles on the side. Make some green beans. Also from that brand, I do have... My son really likes these. These are just the corn, um, like, faux chicken nuggets. So they are vegan. They're meatless and soy-free for those of you who don't want an excess of soy in your diet. And then these are the breakfast patties that I had the other day on my Instagram story. I just put, like, an English muffin and vegan cheese. And, um, yeah, those are meatless as well. So I decided I wasn't really feeling the green beans today, so I did some sweet potato here, about 30 grams. I put a tiny bit of cinnamon on top for a no calorie, really good like seasoning. Got the pickles, got the Boca burger. I'm just gonna edit some videos here. Wow, my laptop screen is real dirty. Also, by the time you're seeing this video, I have already put up two other videos this week. What were they? Come on, come on. Gosh, Time Warner Internet, I'm telling you, it's slow as hell. So, yeah, I did put up a Boss Babe about increasing your credits. And what was the other one? Why can't I even remember? Uh, oh, yeah, weight loss update right here. Lost a little over five pounds um, about a week and a half ago here. I've been following, like, my macros really strictly, <laughs> as we could tell. Um, so, yeah, by the time you're watching this vlog, I have lots of other stuff up. I'll link some of these recent videos down below if you guys want to also check those out. Good job, babe. You gotta brush them for two whole minutes. All right, so it's now almost 10 p.m. Christian and I are hopping in bed. If you can hear that noise, it's Christian's new electronic, like, Paw Patrol toothbrush. He's pretty obsessed. So he's brushing his teeth. I'm actually watching some Grey's Anatomy on my laptop, I'm trying to catch up on all the seasons before this new season launches uh, here in September in a few weeks. I think it's season 14. Um, I didn't want to keep watching it anymore after Derek died. Him and Meredith are like my dream couple, but I don't know, I love the show so much, so I'm trying to catch up on it. So I just wanted to check in with you guys, say thank you so much for following me around today. I really hope you enjoyed the workout and the whole vlog style type of video. I um, also just wanted to leave you guys with a little bit of inspiration or motivation for the week. Um, as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, I've been listening to so many incredible motivational speeches on YouTube which is nothing new, I do it all the time, but lately I've just felt like my motivation is such at an all-time high, and I've been listening to podcasts about so many successful entrepreneurs and women who are entrepreneurs, and it's just so inspiring to me to take my YouTube and everything to the next level. So many people ask me what I want to do after YouTube, and I really want to do public speaking on some level. Did you finish your tea? Yeah. Come jump in bed. We're saying goodnight. Come on. But yeah, I really want to do public speaking at some level, and I've really realized with the popularity of my Boss Babe series and how many of you really enjoy the Boss Babe content, I would love to launch something like a Boss Babe Academy where I could, I'm trying to like figure out how to do it and what what's right to like price it at if I do like a weekly cost or a monthly cost. I would love to take on some social media clients. Oh, turn that down, baby. I'm finishing the vlog. This is nice, right? They throw right here. Um, and help you guys grow up your own social media or just do like a little Boss Babe camp in general. Christian is so into the show. Half the time I'm like, close your eyes, close your eyes, you can't watch this. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, I really want to do some type of Boss Babe Academy or seminar. Let me know how many of you guys would be interested in that and kind of what you think a good price point would be. I'm thinking of taking on a certain number of clients where we can all do like a group FaceTime each week and ask questions about... <laughs> Sorry guys, full-time mom life right here. What are you even doing? Um, so yeah, let me know what you guys think about that. I was thinking of... My friend Emily has 
um, something that she does called Evolve with Emily, and they all do, I think it's like 20-ish clients, they all go on a group FaceTime every week where everyone can see each other and ask questions publicly, and then like she answers, so whatever I would be helping you guys out with for the week, like whatever the topic would be, I'd be helping you, we could all just have like a live chat, which I think would be awesome, so I definitely want to take the Boss Babe stuff to the next level, and yeah, just continue to do my best and grow my personal business with YouTube and everything like that, and also inspire you guys, if your dream is to grow your social media or your YouTube, just please know that you can do it. The very first step is eliminating the negativity and the doubt in your mind and thinking that you're not good enough or you're not educated enough or knowledgeable enough because you 100% are. You need to first believe it in your mind so that you can make it a reality. It's so, so true that our minds believe what we tell them. So if you wake up and say you're fat or you're broke or you hate, you have family problems or like money stresses you out, whatever you say out loud like that, that's what will be true. And that's what will reign true in your reality and in your life. So the first step is really just taking having a total mindset change. That's really what I talk about a lot too in the guide that I just launched on my website. It's five steps on how to completely transform your life and know and truly believe that you can accomplish any goal in life that you have. Um, I have mentioned my guide just in one video before. I didn't want to like overwhelm people, but I did work really hard on it and it's up on my website. I'll put it in the description box if you guys want to get it. I've had a really good feedback from you guys on it so far, which has made me so fulfilled because I, I was so passionate writing it and I wrote the whole thing myself. I'm just like very proud of it. Um, so yeah, it's step by step how to change your life and like a, an exact five step plan that I use in order to make social media and stuff my full time job and just get out of a depressed and negative mindset and be so much happier in life overall. But yeah, overall, I just wish you guys so much happiness and success and positivity in life and fulfillment. I want that for all of you and everyone deserves that. And I think the first step is realizing that you deserve better and that you deserve that type of life. It's not just for a select few people. Like anyone can have any type of success they desire if you work hard enough. With YouTube, I'm almost on my fourth year and I've been uploading consistently three videos a week for almost four years. And I'm just barely at the point where I'm at now. Like... You know, there's other people who've maybe gotten a million subscribers in a year, and it's taken me almost four, and I'm so grateful for the subscribers, oh, the amount that I do have. I'm almost done. I'm going to help you. But, you know, I'm just saying keep grinding, keep hustling. I'm here for you guys. I'd love if you want to grab my guide. Like I said, I'll have it in the description box. Um, I hope you guys enjoy the next video. Say goodnight night. for like the third time because I kept rambling. Give this video a like for me and subscribe if you're not already. Aww, that's you. So cute. He's looking at vlog footage of himself in Final Cut. You're just a cutie, huh? Hey, I love you. <laughs> Make me so happy, bubs. Okay, so now good night for real. I love you guys. I appreciate so much you watching and just coming back from multiple videos and supporting us. It means the world to me. Mm -hmm. So have a great night and an amazing weekend, and I will talk to you guys in the next video.